Hi friends, we are going to be working today with some model magic to make a sculpture inspired by the artist Jason Naylor. So you're actually gonna get two packets today to get this done. And remember, we have a short amount of time together, so you gotta work quick. Your first packet, you're gonna wanna roll out into a large coil, kinda like this, like you would a pretzel if you were making one. It's gonna be pretty thick, okay? So about the width of your thumbs and we want to smash it together into the shape of a heart. So you just kind of bend it a little bit and work the joints where you have connected it together, smooth them out. Like I said, we want this to be thick because it's gotta stand up on its own. And if you pinch the top of the heart it should keep its shape. Now that we have it, we want to flatten it out a little bit because we want it to be wide. And if it changes shape and you don't like it, just keep working with it. But don't spend too much time on this because we have to actually build a base for our sculpture. Remember, if we don't have a base, it's just gonna be flat. It's gonna have two sides. And we want it to actually stand up so that it's 3D. So once you get this, like you like it, you can go ahead and set that off on your plate, which is where you're going to put your name. Second step, you are going to get your other model magic out. Get all that good stuff left over on the center. And we are gonna actually divide this in half, okay? So just pull it in half. Doesn't have to be an exact measurement, but we need to make a base. Now, roll a sphere, and it should pretty much already be in a sphere for you if you just pinch it in half. And we're gonna flatten that out with your hand. Okay, and you want this to be thick because this is our base. It's how our sculpture is going to stand. All right, so it's about the size of diameter of a tennis ball. I'm just flattening it, flattening it up on the edges because I want it to be consistent. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can even indent it if you want, uh, but it is going to hold the rest of our base. So I then went ahead and pinched that in half a second time and divide it again. We're gonna roll another sphere, flatten those out into rounded rectangles and just attach them really quick. The great thing about model magic is we can just stick it there and it is going to dry in place. So oh, if you haven't guessed already, these are resembling feet. I'm just gonna smush it down a little bit because I want them to be pretty similar. Now, mine are not even and that's okay. It bothers me a little bit, but I'm gonna let it go and move on because I know when I pull Model Magic apart, it's gonna pull apart my base and I'm gonna have to start all over again. And we do not have time to keep going back and correcting. We're just gonna be brave, bold, and go for it. So we need to do the little legs that are gonna come up. And I pulled off a chunk and it is not big enough. I'm gonna pull a little bit more. Divide that in two because I've got two legs. And check it, make it sure it's pretty good. All right, spheres are the name of the game. If you can do spheres, you've got this. So I've got my sphere. I'm gonna squish it a little bit and pinch it into the shape of a cube, or you could say a rectangular prism. So it looks like a rectangle, but I can't say rectangle because it's not flat, it's 3D. So I've got my prism, you can see, and I'm just gonna set that on top of my little foot there pick this up gently and you can see it's starting to look like little legs. And we did this all off of rolling spheres. So I'm pinch it again, put it in place and I want those to actually touch 
because if they touch, they are stronger. So the legs are gonna be standing closed together. Now, here is where I'm going to build my sculpture. While this is still wet, I've got toothpicks and I need to push my toothpick down into the little lakes that I built and I wanna do it in the middle and you'll notice that it's causing the rest of your sculpture to kind of squish and fatten out, that's okay. You can squeeze it together a little bit. So now that I've got, and we could say that's our little skeleton of our sculpture base, I am going to go back to my heart and holding it at the base very carefully, I'm going to push my heart on top of my little legs. And it takes some wiggling a little bit. And the key here is that you do not want those skeleton pieces to poke through the top. That's why we had to make sure our heart shape was nice and fat. Now that I've got it on there, I'm going to very carefully wiggle it off because I just wanted to make the holes where those are gonna go. We won't attach them until this whole thing is dry. Okay, so now that I have the holes where they need to be, I gotta set this guy down because if I mess with it too much, those holes are gonna go away. The base, leave the skeleton, little bones sticking out. Check the bottom, make sure they're not poking through. They're not, we're good to go. I'm gonna let that sit there and dry. Now, you should have this little bit of model magic left. So if we have feet, don't you think we need hands? I think we need hands. So, you should have two other toothpicks left. These are kind of long. Now, the goal to this is that you want to be able to insert them on the sides all while not touching the bottom because you don't want to mess with those bottom holes we already have. So just a little bit of wiggling. Make sure you're going in the center because if you go too close to the edge, it's going to poke out the top. Not a big deal. If it does, you just got to push the model magic back over it. So I'm just going to slowly do one little arm at a time all while not messing with that. And I got the one, I'm gonna slowly drag that across because I want their arms to be somewhat even. It's not gonna be perfect though because I didn't measure it. I just guesstimated. All right, I got little arms. Now I gotta cover them by dividing up that last little ball. I'm gonna roll out my sphere into a rectangular prism. and wiggle, 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 all the way down. Now, when I get here, I can actually smoosh this down and cover up that little toothpick that I have in there for my skeletal structure. But be gentle. You gotta hold this with soft hands because if I squeeze it too hard, Everything's going to get squished and I'm going to have to start over again. And we do not have time for start overs. Uh-oh, my toothpick is cracked. I'm going to be really gentle with it. That's a bummer. I can squeeze my model magic down into the spot that I want it. I could squeeze it a little bit more, try to get my arms about the same length. But they're not gonna be the same and that is okay. All right, I still got my holes in the bottom. I've got my little arms and my base is set to go. Now I just need to double check, make sure my name is on my plate. Let's do that real quick. And I'm ready to clean up and good to go. All right, friends, remember, be bold, be brave, have fun, work fast, less talking, more arting.